Prince Charles is all smiles as he studies artwork and photographs during opening of exhibition at the Romanian Cultural Institute. Prince Charles was all smiles today as he officially opened an exhibition, marking 30 years since the Romanian Revolution. The Royal, 71, appeared in high spirits as he arrived at the Romanian Cultural Institute in London, where he was seen laughing and joking with other attendees. At one stage, Prince Charles, who was wearing a blue pinstriped suit, took a moment to speak with Dan Mayal H., the ambassador of Romania for the UK, and his two young children, at the exhibition. Prince Charles fell in love with Romania on his very first visit in 1998 and makes a private visit for a few days, every year, to the country. The royal fell so much under the spell of the country that he bought a house in one of the wooden villages, then acquired another property which he's turned into a comfortable lodge. He likes to visit in May when the wild flowers are out, while both houses can be rented when Charles isn't there. He goes to the country every year in order to recharge his batteries, and promote skills and training in rural Transylvania. The royal appeared equally enamored by the exhibition at the institute, studying photographs as he toured the venue, and was later in high spirits as he gave a speech at the event. The meadows of Romania are spectacular with a huge variety of species, as many as six times more to the square meter than can be found in Britain as they've never been sprayed with pesticides or herbicides. Charles has been so inspired by this that he's now planted a Transylvanian meadow at Highgrove, his Gloucestershire home, using a wild flower seed mix mostly gathered from the hay meadows at one of his properties. Four years ago, Charles set up the Prince of Wales Foundation Romania, which supports the Eastern European nation's heritage and rural life, and sustainable development. It's been a difficult few weeks for the royal, after he read the riot act to his under-fire brother Prince Andrew during a dramatic showdown at Sandringham amid the ongoing Epstein scandal, a source claimed. The Prince of Wales is said to have dragged his younger sibling to the royal estate for a crunch summit where he effectively retired the duke from his public duties. Charles told his embattled brother there was no way back into the family in the near future after the public outcry that followed his disastrous Newsnight interview last month. Prince Philip also joined his sons for the light lunch, which took place shortly before the BBC interview with Andrew's accuser Virginia Roberts aired on Monday. The royal source told The Sun, it was all very civilized and calm but Charles calmly read him the riot act and told him there was no way back for him in the near future. Andrew thought he was being treated harshly as nothing has yet been proved against him, but he accepted the decision. He really had little choice. Charles was also said to be concerned with the prospect of Andrew going to the U.S. to clear his name, amid fears that such a move could remove the mystery surrounding the royal family 